Shalom. And we're gonna get started in a second. Just make sure everything good with the uh, feed. Make sure the sound coming through. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises on the glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Makar Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whom the world you know as Jesus Christ. Ba'ashem Makar Kodash is in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, it's the inspiration given to us to edify those that have ears to hear. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect, brethren, faithful, and diligent preaching this word with fear and trembling. Shalom warm to the believers that subscribe to this truth through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim and Hawashai. All right, we're the GMS Memphis Camp. And uh, we got a lesson. Lord, will you be edified and titled When the Sound of the Trumpet Cease? Okay. And the trumpet is dealing with what? Uh the the, the prophets going out and warning the people. Okay. Uh the, the, the judgment to come, okay. Uh, the things that are prophesied in the scriptures As a matter of fact uh, I know we said Ezekiel 3 Let's start out with Jeremiah 28 and 8 Okay The things that are prophesied in the scriptures Are the judgment That the Heavenly Father Is going to bring on the earth Okay For the wickedness that's being done And this is pretty much uh, What the prophets of the Lord uh, are, are doing symbolically blowing the trumpet but there's going to come a time when the trumpet is not going to be blown anymore only judgment is going to take place after that man okay so we're going to get into it Lord will you be edified got it this is Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You say the prophets that have been before me, the, the prophet Jeremiah said the prophets that have been before him all right, prophesied meaning what? Spoke before okay, the word prophesied means to speak before okay, and what did they prophesy again? Go ahead against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence of war and of evil and of pestilence all right and that's what you see going on today all right on a high level all throughout the earth okay there's war evil and pestilence and this is signs of our lord's coming these things are signs of our lord's coming and what he's coming to bring upon the planet earth is his righteous anger indignation and wrath because of all the iniquity that's being done in the earth Go ahead, brothers got something, go ahead. Yeah, I get the uh, online etymology dictionary of the word trumpet. From a verb, it's at 15 tonus. It's a figurative sense of to proclaim. It's told, and that's the point, it said to proclaim. To proclaim, yep. all right? And to proclaim something means to declare it. Yep. All right, so what we're doing as men of the Lord, prophets of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, is declaring the judgment that's written concerning First and foremost, America, the wicked kingdom, the sinful kingdom, all right, uh, we're declaring the judgment that's going to come upon this place before it comes, all right? And there's a reason why we must do that. We get to Ezekiel, the third chapter, or you had something else? Yeah, that, this is Ezekiel. Okay. Yeah, this is Ezekiel uh, 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them one for me. Right. So we are commanded, first and foremost, okay, from the Heavenly Father to go out here and be watchmen and warn the people of the danger that's set to come, okay? And this danger is ultimately becoming because of the way that our people uh, are behaving, man, the way that they're conducting themselves in these unse unseem unseemly manners, man, okay? And these abominable ways that they have chosen the Most High is displeased. So we are, are commanded uh, to go out and, and warn them, okay? Uh, Isaiah 58 and 1, unless you had more. Uh, yeah, 
I keep going. He said, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not one, nor speakest to one the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die at his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Yet if that one the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Yeah. You see? So we're we're uh held accountable in the eyes of the most high to do what? Uh, uh to warn these people of the ways that they transgress the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Okay. All right. And if we don't, those very sins that these people uh are creating are not creating, are committing <laughs> Salaki. They fall upon our own head. They, the, we, we are held accountable to be our brother's keeper. All right? That makes sense. Yep. Because well, it won't to me if I preach not the gospel. That's right. You got it, uh, Tamayo. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sin. Yeah, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, okay? And you ain't just supposed to be out here uh, just all the ways, um, you know, living living like on, on the easy going type of spirit, yeah. you know, because uh, that's sparing, you know, uh, as long as, uh, you know, everybody uh, 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 ain't hurting nobody, they ain't doing nothing wrong, you know what I'm saying? Or, just it's a, it's that 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 mindset that you know I don't care what nobody else do as long as they don't do it to me you know yeah no nah, that ain't no nah, man we were called to be judges we were called ultimately as uh, the sons of God to have discernment and bring forth judgment all right that's what we are called to do read that again this is Isaiah chapter fifty eight. Verse 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Right, man. You know, what sins is what transgression of the law. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that's ultimately what leads to death. Give me Romans 6 and 23. This is Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life. Right. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life. Give me James uh, 5, uh, start at 19. Don't go ahead and I'll read that again from the top. It said, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life. Through Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, our Lord. Right. Through Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, we have the gift of eternal life. All right. And Yahweh Shai is what? He's the word. He comes in the volume of the book. So we're supposed to be telling our people the moral principles, guidelines, and rules that they ought to follow to please Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because when you turn from these uh, 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 law, statutes, and commandments, ultimately you bring death upon yourself, man. Yeah. Okay? A lot of our people, uh, they don't know that the things they're doing are sins worthy unto death. A lot of people uh, don't even know uh, uh, about the dietary laws. Okay, a lot of people don't don't know about uh, you know the uh, what's the word the the the, uh, the dress code. Okay, the women, the men don't know about the dress code. Don't know about the uh, uh, you know keeping the beard on your face. All right, it's certain things that our people don't know. And we're not just supposed to let them continue living those uh, type of wicked lifestyles uh, unaddressed. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say something. I mean, yeah, you basically said it. Cause, you know, Jake, Jake, uh, come to find out, Jake really they know, it, but they still want to do the wicked uh, things they do. You know, cause Jake knows he's wanting to get tatted up, smoke blunts. You know, you know, eat shrimp and, and so on. But Jake still. Riffily are doing. That's what it's good to say him to uh, know what to do good and do it not. To him, it is sin, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because you ought to know better, man. Yep. Hey, and it, the, the Isaiah 
uh, the prophet Isaiah in chapter 58, uh, the Lord told him to spare not. Okay, so you ain't supposed to hold back, all right, because, you know, you cool with someone or, you know, that's your mom, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or that's your, you know, someone you, someone you hold dear to heart. You're supposed to choose the most highways over the ways of these people. Okay, you're supposed to have everything in a perspective uh, when it comes to order. Because the scriptures do say, what, well, honor thy father and thy mother. But if thy father and thy mother is going against the most high, you don't you don't honor that. Yeah. You know? You got something? You got is that it? James 5, 19. Start yeah. at 5 and 19. This is James chapter 5, verse 19. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that which convert the sinner from error of his ways shall save his soul from death. Right. Okay. Because like the brother said, woe unto us if we preach not the gospel. Read that again, James 5. This is James chapter 5, verse 20. Let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way. Yeah, so that's pretty much when you convert someone from the error of their way, that's what? Correction. Okay, go ahead. Shall save a soul from death. You shall save a soul from death. Being your brother's keeper, man. Okay? You don't just supposed to allow your brother, all right, to, to walk uh, off a cliff. When you see him going in the wrong way, you're supposed to lead him back to the path of righteousness. That's converting. The word convert means to change direction you know matter of fact look let, let's look that word up convert all right you know convert in the online etymology dictionary from the 13th century a change or turn from one religion to another to turn around turn towards change transform convert so ultimately you causing uh, you know, a sinner to repent, all right, to turn back to the ways of righteousness. Right. That's what we're called to do. You got more? <laughs> yeah, you said it. it says, win over, convert, transform, turn around. Mm -hmm. turn. We, we turn. Hey, and it's a lot of our people that uh, need to make a U turn, man. Yeah. Okay? Need to make a make a U turn and come back and seek the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? As a matter of fact, get that what it says, as it, as it were your mind to go astray, uh, seek him 10 times more. Go ahead, Don, finish that at verse 20. This is John chapter 5, verse 20. Let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. That's right. That's right. And we we supposed to be doing that, man. Can I get a quick one real quick? Yeah, go ahead, bro. This is uh, Leviticus 19 and 17. It said, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise will build thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You see? So that's often what we are doing on the highways, byways, telling our people, the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Spanish, Latinos, and Native American Indians, to repent, man. You know, to come out of Babylon the Great, depart, and why is he depart? You, you know, that's what we're telling them, man. <laughs> so, right. Well, before it's too late, because there's going to come a time where we're not going to be able to do this, all right? For instance, whenever um, there's pending danger, the watchmen go out on the tower and they blow the trumpet or they sound an alarm, okay? But when that danger finally, uh, 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 what's the word? When the, when the danger finally arrives, those watchmen not blowing the trumpet anymore. Blowing the trumpet. When, when it's a tornado warning, right? You go hear the, the siren go off before the tornado gets to you. But once the tornado arrives, you don't hear it anymore. Okay, so you're not going to continue to hear us say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh, the MOTB, okay, uh, is is uh, is is the RFID microchip, all right. Uh, the, the devil the, coming the, down the, with great the, 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 uh, the uh, 
the brother said, the devil coming down with great wrath. Jacob's trouble is coming. All right, there's going to be a uh, martial law. There's going to be a uh, famine. Famine. Pestilence. Pestilence. Jeremiah 28. All these things that the prophets prophesied, which we come in the spirit of the prophets here today, at, at the time when these things happen, it's going to be too late. The warning is going to stop. Yeah. Okay? Because the Lord told us to prepare ourselves, make you ready to the battle, mm -hmm. and be even pilgrims upon the earth. So I know one of you, man, we, we in it. We, we, I don't need to, for, uh, to ask if we in Jacob trouble. You know, when you see tanks and lions warming down the streets, man. You know, you see dead bodies, you know, just laying on top of each other, man. No need to ask what time we in, man. You got it. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 2. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, and when he see a sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever heard the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Well, it's your mm -hmm. fault, man. If you don't take heed, that's your ass. <laughs> you know? That's your fault. And the Lord said that it ain't gonna be no cloak uh, for your sins, man. Yep. Meaning you're not gonna have the, the cloak goes into an excuse. There's not gonna be any excuse. That's why the Lord sent us out. Okay, to forewarn the judgment that he's gonna forewarn you of the judgment that he's gonna bring. And once he brings it, okay, the word is gonna already be been established in the earth of what he was gonna do. Like that's why he made the spirit uh, 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 come upon these men all over the world to go out on the highways and hedges, okay? And feed the people with the understanding they needed to be prepared uh, for the, the judgment that's coming, all right? Not to be out here, uh, you know, entertaining, because really, if you're not uh, on the highways and hedges and you're not talking about the hour of temptation and uh, Jacob's trouble, you're not blowing the trumpet appropriately, okay? Right. Uh, what's that? That unsung sound? Yeah, I want her to go to. Uh, come, come. This is uh First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse eight. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself Wait, to the battle? Wait, you got the other um counts, you know? I ain't no Jacob trouble. You know we in that party and BS spirit, man. Yeah. You know the MOTB. You know, it's not the mix chip imps, okay? If you, you know, you're not telling, but you, like, they can tell you what it ain't, but they can't tell you what it is. That's an uncertain sound. Right. You know, telling you that it's going to be, uh, you got certain these pastors telling you that there's going to be a rapture before Jacob's trouble. That's an uncertain sound, man, okay? That's not the, that's not the appropriate sound. That's not uh, according to the uh, sound doctrine. The sound that's not according to sound doctrine. Matter of fact, get that they will not endure sound doctrine. Go ahead, don't read that again and read through verse nine. This is First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse eight. For if the trumpet give a uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood. Right. So it's supposed to be. Uh, plain the scriptures say write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it okay so you're supposed to take the prophecies that the uh, heavenly father has given to the prophets to give to give you you're supposed to take heed to it and you're supposed to be able to run with it in the right direction and run away from yep. the danger man okay Go ahead, bro. That was it. All right, this uh, second attempt is four. I'm going to get straight to the point. Mm -hmm. Four and three. It said, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. But after their own lust, so they heap to themselves teachers, heaven itch your ears. Yep. And that's what you see. You know, you got a lot of guys that's just teaching things 
uh, contrary to the 100% truth of the scriptures. And ultimately, it's not, um, uh, it's not for uh, the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, it's for the vain glory of, the, of themselves. Like the scriptures say, he was disciples unto themselves. But the scriptures say, if the blind lead the blind, they shall both fall into a ditch. Okay, so if you follow after these people, all right, because of a certain type of persona that they bring, a certain type of, uh, you know, gimmick that they present, you know, because the, the thing about this truth is that it's just, it's just plain. You just teach it. You don't need all that extra uh, hoopla, all right, uh, rap videos and, in, 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 you know, uh, uh, these glamorous introductions. And, you know, none of, none of that stuff is what matters at the end of the day to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The only thing that matters to him is sound doctrine. Isn't it? So this uh second you guess so? Hmm. This second Chronicles 36 and 15. And then Lord Yahweh of their father sent to them by his messengers, <laughs> rising up beat times and sinning, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mock the messengers of the most high. They mock the messengers of the most high. And that's what the scriptures say. So if you are, uh, you know, coming into this faith and you've built yourself up, all right, or the spirit, rather, should I say, has built you up to the point to where you are a teacher. The scriptures tell you, knowing this first in the last days, scoffers will come. Okay, so you're going to be hated for sound doctrine. You're going to be hated because you uh, 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 reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering, man. Cause you, because you're instant in season, preaching the word, instant in season, out of season, and you're not sparing, you're not having any respect of persons, okay? Just like when niggas like uh, rap the news, drop dead, okay? When uh, what's this latest nigga, Kevin Samuels, drop dead, okay? We go out and warn the people of the judgment that they suffered, and the reason why they suffered the judgment that they suffered. Is because they were wicked, right? Okay, they didn't believe ultimately. That's yeah. why they mock. And, and people hate you uh, when when you are coming in the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because uh, they look at somebody dying as a time to mourn. No, some some somebody dying is a sign of judgment and a time to fear. And ultimately, if you are of the spirit of truth. You're going to rejoice in judgment going forth, okay? You're going to rejoice uh, if you are actually doing the, the, the will of the Heavenly Father. When death comes upon the wicked, you're going to rejoice. But those that are not in the spirit, not in the spirit of warning the people of the judgment, you know, they they got a problem with that. Yeah. yeah what, what does it say? Evil man understand not judgment. Evil man understand not judgment. That's beautiful. Back in uh, 2 Chronicles 36 and 16 But they marked the messengers of the Messiah And despised his words You know the trumpet, the sound It said and, and despised his words And misused his prophets And to the wrath of the Lord arose against his people Till there was no remedy mm -hmm. You know Yep, you got something on Yeah I heard something about the, uh, the prophets That didn't warn the people Go ahead It's uh, Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 14 then the lord sent unto me the prophets that prophesied lies in my name i sent them not neither have i commanded them neither spake unto them they prophesy unto you false vision shalom and divination and a thing of not right and 2022 gonna be your year you gonna enjoy your summer vacation hot girl summer you know you see, I, I think out of their own heart, man. You know, no Jacob trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the economy about to bounce back. <laughs> you know, all those are vain thoughts, man. They ain't telling you the things that went in the Bible. They ain't sticking to sound doctrine, man. Because mm -hmm. the true prophet's warning you, telling you that Jacob trouble is coming. Uh, evil times is coming. Famine is coming. We seeing that now. You know, starting with the babies. They don't got no food, man. What's the solution to that, but go ahead. In the deceit of their heart, therefore thus said the Lord concerning the prophet, they prophesied my name, and I sent them not. Why, I sent them not. The Lord didn't send any poor child pastors. 
Yeah. Jesus go bless you with a new car. Jesus go bless your own hands and woo to woo. Those are all false gods, man. I mean, they, you know? they, 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 those are those uncertain sounds. That's right. You know, because really, these people that subscribe to those type of doctrines, you know, that's what they want to hear. Give me that uh, uh, prophesy smooth things, prophesy deceit, hold that on deck. You know, yeah. because that's what that's what the people want to hear. The Lord said, "Hey, the Lord said, uh, 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 set thy face against these people and fear not them." Okay, yeah. so you're not supposed to be uh, lining your judgment up to. Uh, you're not supposed to be trimming your ways. Right. And the scriptures <laughs> say, "Why trimmest thy ways to seek love?" Okay, because when you when you really know, all right what's going on and you really understand the judgment that's written in the scriptures you know that there's a pen you understand the penalty for not teaching sound doctrine so you you gonna fear the most high more than these people man see really you're gonna be hated and persecuted for this truth and if that's not uh the energy that you're getting you're supposed to feel that energy like and we ain't even got to the heavy persecution part but you're supposed to feel that energy when you're out preaching you know? Yeah, what is good? Uh, have I definitely become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yeah. You know? It's just like that nigga, uh, Slocky. You know, I don't want to call him a nigga, but it's just like Captain Tazari out. You know, he go on your debates on Sinetta, right? Which they had a debate recently dealing with women teaching the word, you know? You know, I mean, he was trying to be a gentleman, you know, but at the end of the day, man, these women out of order, you know? Great Millstone, we rough around the edges for the most part. We're not just about to uh, sit up there and have a debate with a with a with a with a woman for the sake of the community, the black community, you know. And yeah, then try man. to call it something else. Like, no, man, we ain't, we ain't having no no debate with no women, man. The scriptures say what need to be said, and ain't no woman supposed to be on no platform. With a with a with a man of the Lord going back and forth about whether or not she should teach, when the scriptures say, "I suffer a woman not to teach." There ain't no sense of arguing. That's not it's, that's that's not something to be going back and forth about, man. Okay, so hey, and there's order, there's order, man. There's order, and even how we are supposed to teach this word, you know. Let the woman learn at, at home in silence with all subjection. Okay. And you got these uh these women, you know, calling themselves. You even got I can't think of this group of uh one group of uh, women. They got a little YouTube page, but you'll oh, see. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, man. You see, that's out of order, and that's gonna be judgment for that. Okay. Yeah. You got it, bro. Yeah. Right. Yet they say so. Call it me. The call it me. This is Jeremiah chapter 14, verse uh, 15. Uh -huh. Therefore, thus said the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, uh -huh. and I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. That's what we're coming into, though. We go ahead. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. All you false um, prophets out there, you're going to be consumed by it, man. Ooh, I got to preach. You know? The Lord gonna destroy you um, by the sword and by the famine, man. Mm -hmm. the Lord ain't gonna protect you, man. He ain't sent you, man. This is Matthew 12 and 36, but I say unto you yeah. uh, that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give an account therefore in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Mm -hmm. You know, so whatever these false prophets are teaching, all right. The, the things that they teaching against the heavenly father all right not according to sound doctrine they're going to suffer if they say this uh judgment is not going to take place they're going to be swallowed up by that judgment are you saying it's not going to be you no know, jacob's trouble that the motb is not uh, uh the big mick chips then you are going to fall uh according to that judgment all right when that judgment comes you're going to be a victim of it right Go ahead, bro. This morning, Nick, tomorrow? Yeah, a little bit more. Good. This is Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 16. And the people 
to whom they prophes prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem. Right, because what is it? The blind lead the blind, and both shall fall into the ditch, man. You know? Go ahead. Because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them, and their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. Right, you're going to be upon them, man. You see, you're going to notice the Lord doing this, man. You know, they already talking about blackout summers. You know, straight darkness is coming, man. Uh, this is Isaiah 30 and 9. Let's start at 8. It said, Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord, would say to the seals, See not. And to the prophets, prophesy now to us white things, speak unto us smooth, smooth things, prophesy deceits. Mm -hmm. And that's what they all um, want. They want the um, the feel the feel good on um, doctrine that you're going to prosper, you know. But the only way you can prosper, Joshua one and eight, you know. <laughs> that's how you prosper, man. Joshua one eight, you can read on your own. It said, "Get you out of the way, turn aside." Uh, the path cost the whole one of Israel to cease from before us. <laughs> you see? Start teaching your house, shot. He said, Wherefore, thus said the holy one of Israel, because ye despised his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay them on. Therefore, this iniquity should be to you as a breach, ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking comes suddenly in an instant, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because. As your sins, as your sins are piling up, the, the every day that you don't repent, every day that you don't turn back to the heavenly Father, hey, it's like it's like uh, you building up your destruction, okay, and it, and it's just gonna fall on you. That's why scriptures say uh, because uh, because judgment against an evil uh, work is not executed speedily, the sons of uh, man, I'm butchering it. Uh, Get it real quick, bro. It's Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sin is against an evil work is not executed speedily. speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is full of sin in them to do evil. Right. You know, and that's that's the main reason why people that uh, uh, hear this word don't take heed, fear the most high, and keep his commandments. Because they've been faring well in their evil, in their evil uh, work. You know they've been they've been they, they they've been getting along just fine in their iniquity, but the Lord say go back. It's gonna build up. It's gonna be as a like a breach. Yep. You know. Let me go back to that. Yeah. They say um, Isaiah thirty eighteen. And, no, not eighteen. Isaiah thirty and thirteen. Isaiah thirty verse thirteen. Therefore, this iniquity should be to you as a breach, ready to fall. Swelling out in a high wall Who's breaking coming suddenly in an instant Yeah so <laughs> Hey just because You're not uh, You're not uh, being uh, Punished for your sins You're not being paid for your sins Right now When they do fall They're going to fall on you unexpectedly yeah. They're going to fall at you at the worst moment <laughs> Like uh, Lord say coming to thief in the night man Yeah You see so blessed those who keep his garments man mm -hmm. You know Cause, like, uh, in an instant, like a blink in the eye, you know. Yeah. So when Jacob trouble come, it, it's over with. Law ain't doing no more talking. Cause why the family words here? Yeah, you thought you was good. You thought you was good until shit hit the fan. Yep. And the only, and the only ones that gonna be prospering is the man of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, his servant. He said his servants gonna eat. His servants uh gonna drink. His servants gonna uh, gonna cry for joy, sing of joy. You know, what well, meanwhile y'all gonna cry vegetation of spirit. You see? So the only one gonna prosper is the man of the Lord. Why could we have been meditating upon his uh his his laws, man? Um, upon his name, praising his name, doing the work in season and out of season, man. You know, this cal these calamities that, that's come upon the earth is for the wicked, man. You know, yeah, we gonna be in it, but guess what? The Lord gonna keep us safe while we in it though, man. Yep. You hey. see? This is yeah. Jeremiah 29, 17 through 19. Thus said the Lord, your whole host, behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, mm -hmm. and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. Mm -hmm. They are so evil, and I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, 
and with the pestilence and will deliver them to be to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth to be a curse and an astonishment and a hissing and a reproach among all the nations whether I have driven them because they have not hearkened to my word said the Lord Yahweh which I sent unto them by my servants the prophets rising up early and sending them but ye would not hear said the Lord Yahweh you know see rising he rose he rose us up early see uh right now it's still good it's still time to get this uh this truth which is the means of salvation before uh, uh, uh the, the night comes so to speak yeah. okay this is a scripture that say uh we must work the work before the night something like that mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying why it's still day okay so ultimately that saying is while we're able to do this work we must do it because the time is going to come well, we're not going to be able to do the work, man. Yep. All right? Give me that uh, Amos, the eighth chapter, if your brothers didn't have nothing. Yeah, I had one. Go ahead, bro. This is Jeremiah 13 and 16. It said, Give glory to the Lord your power before he caused darkness, mm -hmm. and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while you look for light, he mm -hmm. turn it into the shadow of death and make it ghost darkness. So this is in the NLT of Jeremiah 13 and 16. Give glory to the Lord, you have us in your power before it is too late. Mm -hmm. And that's the point. You got Christians, you got niggas, tell me it's never too late to get right with the Lord. What is you talking about? Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> it said, give glory to the Lord. You know, repent now before it's too late. You know? So give glory to the Lord, your power, you have us shot before it is too late. Acknowledge him before he brings darkness upon you, causing you to stumble and fall on the darkened mountains. For then, when you look for light, you know, the truth, mm -hmm. the prophets, when you try to look for them, you will find only terrible darkness and gloom, man. Ooh. So it's time, hey, hey, it's time to act now, man. Get away again is good, like the boss say, man. Because mm -hmm. it's good to have it. Because it's that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that times, man. Mm -hmm. And what said the, uh, the fear of the Lord is your treasure, man. And I people lack fear. Because why they reject knowledge and the Lord gonna reject you also, man. You got it, go ahead. I got uh I got uh one more here. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. That's, that's good. Mm -hmm. Where he may be found. You know, that's the key word where he may be found. Why? Because it's gonna come a time you're not gonna find the Lord. And that's through his prophets, Amos 8 11. You know? Go ahead. Call ye upon him while he is near. And the Lord is near now. Before they before the dark come. When, hey, when the internet shut down, before the famine, before the darkness uh come, man. You see? But our people are uh, slapping the hand away, man. Slapping away their salvation. You get some more on that? Yeah, read the next verse. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way mm -hmm. and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Mm -hmm. And let him return unto the Lord. Let's convert. Let him return unto the Lord. You've been born again. Romans 12 and 1 and 2. You see? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he will have mercy upon him. All right, you're going to be blessed with mercy. Hey, you in Isaiah 55? Yeah. Jump up to 1. Bible shall read the 3. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that has no no money, come ye buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine and milk without money. And how can you do that? By your time, giving your time to the Lord before it's too late, man. Go ahead. And without price. Right, cause it was a freely you have received, freely give. But you got guys putting merchandise on the truth, man. Trying to sell prayers, sell breakdowns. Come on, man. Go ahead. Wherefore do you spend money for debt? Which is not bread. Wait, right, you poor child pastors. You still hungry. You still thirsty for um for the truth, man. Go ahead. And your labor for debt which is satisfied not. Wait, right. <laughs> you know the pastors talking about give me a thousand dollar for tights? Come on, man. Everything going up, your pastor asking for a thou wow. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Go ahead. Hearken diligently unto me 
and eat ye that which is good. And what is uh, which is what this word? Eat this world, man. Cause this uh, this world, this book can save you, man. James one twenty one. The brother gonna put that on the coming board. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. Yep. And climb your ear and come unto me. Her and your soul shall live. This key word is here, Shemai, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, listen. Here and your soul shall live. Go ahead. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercy of David. And that's what we want, the sure mercy of David. And that's what the Lord built up now. The house of David being built up right now, man. We, Lord willing, we can be blessed with the sure mercy of David, man. You know? Yep. We got a, this second there is five starting at one. It says, nevertheless, as come in the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. In a great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm. That's going into that what? Famine of the word. You say, yeah, it say the way of truth shall be hidden, man. You can go to that Amos 8. I'm going to jump back yeah. to this. When the Amos 8 now? Yeah. Amos 8 and 11. Mm -hmm. It said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, your house shall shine, that I will send a famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, your house shall shine. Which is what? The truth. The way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith, man. <laughs> okay? And the, and, and the faith is going to be rested upon the prophets whom the Lord is going to make uh, their tongues cleave to the top of their mouths, man. Yeah. We ain't gonna be speaking. We ain't gonna be talking, man. Yeah. Go ahead, keep going that Amos. <laughs> what the Lord say? When I come, shall I find faith on the earth? Yeah. He's gonna find faith with his prophets, man. That's it. They say twelve, and they shall wander from sea to sea, mm -hmm. the end from the north even to the east. They shall want to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Yup. Yup. And this is yeah. uh, I must jump down to verse seven. It says, "In the sight of mighty sea." shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night which many have not known but they shall all hear the voice thereof there shall be a confusion also in many places and the fire shall be off sent out again and the wild beasts shall change their places and mysterious women shall bring forth monsters and salt waters shall be found in the sweet and all friends shall destroy one another then shall wit hide itself. Wit is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mm -hmm. And understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber, man. So you niggas gonna be in complete darkness, complete confusion. Hey, perplexity. Mm -hmm. You know, not knowing where to go, which way to turn, which way to walk through. You know, I know the way. You don't know the way in that day, man. You lost. And understanding rests with the prophets, the men of the Lord. It say the uh, and understanding will draw itself into his secret chamber. When we go, we ain't gonna be on the highways and hedges. You ain't gonna be able to pull up these YouTube videos and see uh, the breakdown of Revelation 13, uh, the breakdown of uh, 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 Daniel the second chapter. The break, you know, you ain't gonna be able to see, uh, you know, these exhortations. All right. You're not going to be able to get that comfort, man. Pretty much the Lord is going to snatch the comforter uh, out of the earth where it's, you know, the spirit is just flowing abundantly through the streets. The comforter is only going to, it's going to be locked up within the men of the Lord and they're going to be the only ones that's going to have comfort in the day of trouble, man. That's it. That's, it's, that's that prosperity. <laughs> yep. Verse 10, it says, I'm going to start back at 9. It says, And salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding will draw itself into his secret chamber, and shall be salt of many, and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency uh, be multiplied upon the earth, man. Okay. So what, what that mean? That mean iniquity is going to go uh, through the roof, all right? It, it sins, are, once, once the prophets of the, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the prophets of the Lord are no longer out here preaching this gospel, man, wickedness is going to be at an all-time high, man. It's going to be like zombie land in this motherfucker, man, you know? 
It's going to be like the walking dead around here, man. Okay? And it yeah. said, it said, uh, wild beasts going to change their uh, habitats. Yeah. So you, you know, you're going to be, you going it's going to be people walking amongst, it's going to look like, uh, uh, what's that movie Will Smith play in? I am legend. Uh -oh. I am legend, man. When you seen the lions out there, all yeah. man, it's going to be wild out here, man. You know? And we, hey, we, we approaching that fast man you know and one thing about it, we gotta go through it yep oh, I know it. yep brother gets uh uh joel the second chapter start at the top what you got right now <clears throat> this uh second answer seven go ahead and 18 it said nevertheless the righteous should suffer straight things and hope for what for they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet should not see the wide yep and the wide is the light at the end of the tunnel the light at the end of the <clears throat> tunnel man all right, the wide is salvation. Wide That's is right. the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, <laughs> because one thing that that scripture is telling you that we all gonna have in common is everybody gotta go through the straits. Yep. Everybody gotta go through the, the path of difficulty, but majority of these people, the mass of these people, are gonna die on that path. Right, because they ain't preparing themselves now. Mm -hmm. You know, and they say, uh, and, and he said unto me. There is no judge above the most high, and none that had understand above the highest. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the most high that is set before them. Mm -hmm. For the most high given straight commandment to such as came what they should do to live, even as they came and what they should observe to avoid. And that's the punishment. thing, these people are not coming, they're not turning back. Okay? You know? When you look at these brothers that's out on the highways and hedges in these major cities, man, ain't nobody concerned about what the words of the Lord are. Nobody concerned about what we got to say and not considering that the Lord has placed us out here for their salvation. All right? Yeah. And this, uh, you got more? This is This Jeremiah 11, I'm going to start at 1. It says, the word that came to, the, to Jeremiah from the Lord, Yahweh, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, power of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, Damn. which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and do them according to all which I command you. So shall ye be my people, and I will be your power. So the Lord telling us, straight commandment, obey his words and he will be our power. He's going to deliver us if we just hearken unto the words and keep his commandments. Verse 5, that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey as it is this day. Then answer I and said, so be it, O Lord Yahweh. This prophet Jeremiah say, then so be it. That's what he going to do. Then the Lord Yahweh said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. Proclaim. It's trumpet. That's the trumpet. Yep. That's the trumpet. Blow the trumpet. Right? Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. For earnestly I protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not nor incline their ear, but walk every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. And the Lord Yahweh said unto me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Now you go into that word conspiracy is dealing with an evil plan, okay? Plot, yeah. An evil plot. It says they are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Verse 11 is the point. Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, power, behold, I will bring evil upon them, Come on, man. Which, which they shall not be able to escape. They shall not see the why. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. See? 
And that's what the Lord say. Go and pray. Go and pray to the gods that you have chose. Right. You know, go and pray to these false idols. Go and pray to Jesus Christ. Go and pray to Allah, Buddha. Okay. Your money. And none of these gods are going to save you. All right. <laughs> so, like, as abundant and as uh, much as these videos are going out with the name of the Lord flowing through them constantly. You ain't going to know the name to call upon that day. Hey, you can tell when the Lord got Jake blinded. We can tell. We, Jake can come up and ask us uh, the name of the Lord. And we can give it to him. And three seconds later, ask him. Now, what the name of the Lord is? Uh, Yahweh? No, we man. just told him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, hey, man, how much more when we not out here at all? Okay? Hey, <laughs> Cause I was looking for something uh, in a video Apostle Rumlob did yesterday. Remember, mm -hmm. I pulled up the transcript, and brothers know this: when you pull up the transcript, all right, or you pull up the uh, the, the captioning, and it's showing the words that we speak. When we speak, it'll get every word right except for the names of the Lord. Mm -hmm. it, yep. ne it never gets Yahweh why Yahweh shot right. It, it's gonna say, uh, it's gonna say uh, uh, Yahweh. Yep. <laughs> Something else. It ain't gonna never say the names of the Lord right, man. Oh, you see that? Yep. And that lets you know that the Lord's word are faithful and true when he said his name is dreadful among the heathen, man. Yep. Okay? And his name is sacred, bro. Uh, you got something to mind? Uh, I was holding that uh, Joel, but I had something else, too. Yeah, we can close on Joel. Y'all get what y'all got. I got that uh, Proverbs. Go ahead, because I got, I got a couple in my mind, go ahead. It's the Proverbs, chapter 1. Oh yeah, verse verse twenty seven. Come. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction come as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, mm -hmm. but I will not answer. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be too late. Right. It's gonna be too late, man. And so even even if you are able to call to mind the names of the Lord in that day. He gonna say, "Depart from me, I never knew you. He workers yeah. of iniquity." Yeah, there be yeah. many that say, "Lord, Lord, and should not enter to the kingdom of heaven." Yep. and that's a scary thing, you know. The Lord said, "Depart from me, I never knew you." And the Lord Himself created, created you, created everything that you saw. And he mm -hmm. said, "I don't, I don't, I, I don't know you." Mm -hmm. Come on, man, this, this terrifying right there. Go ahead. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right, because now's the time to seek the Lord early, man. You know, we say uh, Hosea five fifteen. We well, go ahead. For they, they said, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yep. They were, they were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruits of their own way and be filled with their own device. Well, your own thoughts, your own plan, your own imag uh, imaginations, man. You know, you thought you had the way. Hey, this Hosea five and fifteen. I will go and return to my place. Till they acknowledge their offense yep. and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yep. And that's why the Lord say uh, scourges are sent for mm -hmm. amendment, but uh, they're not going to change. You know, and with all these things going on, these, these people still not going to seek the Lord. They're going to they're going to uh, still resort to other avenues, other means of salvation. OK, which ultimately is going to cause uh uh, lead them to their destruction, you know. With the brother got Jeremiah six and sixteen. I bring this up real quick. Go ahead, bro. This is Second Ezra's fifteen and twenty-four. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, said the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, for the power defile not my sanctuary. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. And therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. Why? Right, so you're not gonna be able to escape the uh, uh, escape the calamities, the evil. Remember Jeremiah 11, 11 You're not gonna be able to escape, man. Why? Cause Lord said He gonna leave you in it. Yep, you know? Yep. You it's, got you got uh, hyperinflation. You know? Yep. Then they talking about rolling blackouts coming. Yep. All right. So. When all of this stuff comes upon America, it's going to cause the uh, the society to crumble. There's going to be all hell uh, 
breaking out on the earth, man. It's going to be chaos. It's going to be people robbing and killing. It's, it tell you uh, pretty much in Second Ezra's 15 and yeah. 16 chapter, you know, the state of the earth is going to be all out confusion. Come on. All right. And these things are happening because the Lord is unleashing plagues on the earth right now, man. Yeah. Okay. You got, you got, you got uh, plagues, uh, economic plagues. The economic infrastructure of America is plagued. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the ground is deceased, right? Yes, sir. I'm saying there's a 15, 27 again. For now are the plants come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them while you stuck like Chuck. Mm -hmm. They said, For the most high shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's it. And the Lord is bringing these plagues, man. He says, jump up to verse 5. He said, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. And that's why we constantly blowing the trumpet. You know, we're constantly proclaiming these things to you. So when the time comes, you'll be prepared. Right. You know what uh the Bible we always say, we always quote, uh proper preparation prevents poor performance. You know, I was listening to Apostle uh Tahar video. He was saying he was talking about the rolling blackouts. They saying it's gonna be coming here in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. All right. And he was talking about how, you know, uh Apostle Paul and then, you know, the, the men of the Lord didn't just sit around and just wait and do nothing. You know, he's like, it, it, it'll be wise for you to put some back, to buy you a generator, all right? This is the time now, okay, because as the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times, all right? Knowing these things are gonna come to pass, what manner of person ought you to be, all right? Of course, you seek into the coming because we know no physical thing can save us, but there's prepper. See, a lot of people, are not even uh they're oblivious yeah. that they, they they're completely ignorant of these things that's going to be coming to pass yeah with us knowing these things it'll be wise for us to make certain preparations okay yeah. you know what is uh like editor hob said mississippi better to have than not have you yeah know? yeah instead of just spending your money unwisely just you know not uh taking heed to these things that we are being warned of we we are to make preparation you know but the only sure preparation is building up your faith in your mind and in, in spiritual uh stability okay so that you will have what it takes to endure these uh these uh times of stress and tribulation you know Hey, if I can uh, add, the thing about with Jake, Jake lived his life like wanting, mm -hmm. like he, he lived his life careless. He never think that, take heed to my, what is the men saying up on the highways and byways? Mm -hmm. Like these words, what they saying probably could actually save me mm -hmm. in the long run. Or no, they never take heed to thinking that, that the scriptures probably can be beneficial to them in the end. Mm -hmm. They always have that mind frame, well, what can I do? What can I do to get me out this jam, or just or putting the, putting the Lord in their mind first, mm -hmm. and just getting themselves out the situation? But hey, they they, they they do not. The scriptures say uh, they do not. They do not consider. You know, yeah. matter of fact, Isaiah one and three. Grab that real quick. Verse 3. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 1. Verse 3. Yep. The ox know of his owner, and the ass is master cribs. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. Right. Yep. But in the same, uh, you know, in the same time, the Lord say, my sheep hear my voice. All right. They hear me and they follow okay so a sheep is 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 uh likened unto the elect they actually hear the voice and two-thirds is likened unto an ox <laughs> an ass all right uh, which is a dumb creature yep. you know <laughs> stubborn. stubborn so the lord say uh and in, in hosea my people are destroyed because they have rejected knowledge okay and that's what's ultimately going to be uh, the stability of the elect, wisdom and knowledge. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, man.
it's, it's like like the brother brought out earlier. You know, uh, he's he's given us straight commandment to such as those that came to receive the word. He he's giving you instructions, okay, of how to prepare yourself, okay, how how to be found faithful, how to obtain salvation. <laughs> so it's good. Yep. You got that. We'll get uh. You had some. All right, Joel, second chapter. We'll read from one of them down a little bit. We'll close it out. Hey, yeah, the water for you brothers for tuning in. You know, on the comment board. Yeah. Hey, you pull the yeah. comment board up. He said, uh, touch that. Joel, three and one. Come, come. He said, two and one. Yeah, Joel, two and one. He said, Joel, chapter two, verse one. Yeah. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble mm -hmm. for the day of the Lord coming. Right. You're supposed to be trembling. You know, we go, what's that? Uh, is that Philippians 2 and 12? Yeah. Work at, working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. See, because this really is supposed to stir up a sense of urgency in you. Okay. As the scriptures say, uh, 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 in, uh, Romans, it's high time to wake out of sleep. Okay. <laughs> Yep. Knowing the time, so if you if you're not seeing what's going on now, and it's not striking any sense of urgency in you to uh, ultimately pray, okay, and 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 and, and work out your salvation, building a, a relationship with a higher power, and learning, uh, uh, you know, specifically who that higher power is, that one true power is, then look, man, it's time out to be guessing on shit. You don't know what the name of the Lord is. You don't know what the MOTB is. You don't like. You don't know left from right, up from down. It's time out for that shit. Hey, it's time to be uh, in that state of assurance. You know, being assured of your salvation. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. This is Second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-three, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heard. They shall be suddenly afraid. That's right. That's right. You supposed to be, man, you supposed to be terrified. Okay? Like, especially uh when you first hear this truth, you know, you're supposed to be terrified because you're looking at like, damn, I need to, I need to get my shit together. You supposed your mind says, I need to get my shit together, man. I need to be trying to get right with the most high. Comes down peacefully. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. That was, that was it. Okay, come. No, mm -hmm. no, we 24. No, go ahead, go ahead, Salaki. This is back at Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Mm -hmm. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh. For it is now at hand. For well, it is now at hand. And guess what? Blood moon just passed. Yup. And those, and those are signs, you know, of warning. Been seeing them a lot. You know, for that great and dreadful day. That great and terrible day, man. Mm -hmm. You see? So that's a sign on that, man, that the Lord's on his way back. And the Lord said, what? Well, he's angry with the wicked every day. Mm -hmm. His wrath is uh, going to be what? Fire, man. Go ahead. Read two and we'll end there. A day <clears throat> of darkness and of gloominess. But, but I say, want to you that desire the day of the Lord for what end is it for you? Go ahead. A day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong there has not been ever the light. Mm -hmm. Neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Right. So it's going to lead up to the ultimate judgment, which is going to be what? Thermonuclear uh, destruction. Okay, and that's 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 something that no flesh is going to be saved from. That's standing on the uh, <clears throat> the uh, the grounds of America. Okay, anyone standing on the grounds of America, you are going to be consumed by thermonuclear missiles. At least you repent and turn back to the righteous, the righteousness and obedience of your heart, Bashim and Hava Shah. Yep. Okay, and we're not going to keep saying this. You know, the trumpet is about to cease from sounding real soon, man. Yeah, man.
So with that, we giving all praises and the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and to the hopeful elect, Kwame Yasharala, Abba Babal, rise Israel, destroy confusion, Shalom, Lava Shalom, peace to the lay. I'm